Hi everyone, how are you doing? Sorry about that, I had a few problems then. But yeah guys, how are you doing? A bit of a long day today, been up the valleys to visit my uh, father again. And um, my uncle as well, so I'm not sure if you've seen some of the earlier videos and photo shots on my wall from earlier. And uh, I haven't seen my uncle for a while, he's 84 years of age. Um, going on 85 next um, next May and um, I went up to see him to um, to do a video. He's actually, um, he's written a book, you know, he used to be a miner in, in the Cambrian Colliery up in the valleys there. So I took him out for the day with my father and we went for lunch after and um, yeah, it was great to catch up with my uncle. I haven't seen him for a while. So um, my day's gone a bit out of time today. I normally hit the gym around six o'clock. I missed the gym, I missed the sauna. I was supposed to have done a cryptocurrency webinar tonight, and I missed that, I had to rearrange that. So um, I'm only now just heading back home, but I think I'm going to try and get into the, get into the sauna for the last hour at, um, at the local leisure centre where I live in Panath. I'm on Panath Seafront at the moment. Hi Matt, how are you doing? Oh, hi Virginia, how are you doing? Can't hear me, okay. Great, great start. Uh, can anybody else not hear me? Matt, can you hear me? Two seconds. Okay. Oh, you can now, Virginia, just testing me out. Are you okay, Ginny? Thanks a lot for that. Virginia is my partner, my girlfriend. She's always watching out, checking up with me where I am. So guys, nothing much going on. I had a bit of um, one of those days. So my, my day's been all over the place. I'm normally in the sauna now. I'm going to try and catch the last hour if I can in the sauna. Before it shuts at 11 o'clock. I missed the gym. Everything's gone a bit wrong. Eating too much food today. No exercise. So I've got to try and catch up with all that tomorrow now. Before the weekend kicks in. So, um, hi fam. I'm you, you're okay. That's fine. Casey, Dix, Casey, how are you doing? You can hear me, that's fine. Tony, how's it going? Yes, Tony, it is quite cold here. Cheers, Matt. I don't normally come down to this place, but I'm just passing through anyway, looking at a property on the way through, so I um, thought I'd call down here on the way through and do a video, because it's a nice bit of a nice backdrop. Like I said, I'm starting to shiver, I'm on my shirt. At least, I'm not, at least I haven't got my vest on, that's a, for the change. A lot of people taking the mickey guys out of me doing videos in, in my white vest. But there you go, in Tenerife it's a different story, but um, 35 degrees plus, so in Panath where I am now. Getting a bit shivery, so um, yeah, I'm glad I got my shirt on at least. But um, the way it's going, I could do with a jacket as well. But anyway guys, um, hi Matthew, how are you doing? Where's the mountains like earlier? Yeah, I was up in Tonopandi, Clidac Vale earlier with my father and my uncle. Nice backdrops, nice scenery, the mountains. Very relaxing, great place to do videos as well. I might go back up there and do some videos. Hi Howard, how you doing? Hi Matthew. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. Fahim, how are you doing? Yeah, the gym, the story of my life. Five, five years ago plus, well no, ten years ago. I was in the fittest, fittest shape of my life, in the circuit training, more or less five days a week, six days a week sometimes, just taking one day off. And now I hardly get the circuit, so I'm lucky I get there once or twice a week. So I got up my game with regards to the gym and the circuit, so I got to get back into a four or five day routine, at least, well at least a three or four day routine anyway. That'd be a great start, but um, it's not happening at the moment. All the, the, my work, my lifestyle, all the events I'm attending, you know, all these things kick in, all the holidays I'm taking, everything gets in the way. And um, health and wellness, I think, is more important than anything. So that should come first, you know. So um, that's something I've got to think about very soon. And, um, you know, get back into shape. Hi, Stuart. How are you doing? Asad, how are you doing there? Thanks for joining. So, guys, regards to... Um, Regards to property, I've been busy the last couple of days with property. I've taken a look at a few deals, um, things happening there. Internet marketing-wise, 
uh, things that are happening there. I, as you know, I'm involved with um, Traffic Monsoon, my advertising pays, and obviously FutureNet, FutureR Pro. Those three um, traffic exchanges, revenue shares are doing really well. Well into um, six figures in earnings, well into six figures over the last 12 months. And I think it's going to be a lot better over the next 12 months. I've just taken on two more, um, two other businesses with regards to traffic and um, with, re with regards to traffic exchanges. I'll put those links probably on my Facebook by tomorrow. One I've been involved with for the last couple of weeks and I'm, I'm taking on a new one. I've just taken on a new one in the last couple of days. So two very similar traffic exchanges to Traffic Monsoon and FutureNet, FutureR Pro, but um, they do slightly different things, you know. So they're all helping each other. At the end of the day, I'm, it's helping me drive traffic to my other online businesses and I'm getting paid for doing, doing it as well. And it's only taken me, you know, I only spend an hour a day on the internet, guys, sharing my um, posts and videos on uh, Facebook. So property is most of my time. I do spend a good hour plus just over an hour on, uh, on my internet stuff. So you just have a look at the chat there. Please move, you can see the sea set, okay. Let me just switch the camera over here. It's not very, not very nice, uh, it's not too bad where I am. Bit of a uh, deserted beach, more pebbly than sand. This is Penarth Beach. There's the pier, Penarth Pier. We've had a bit of a refurb there. Lovely apartments there and some nice restaurants on Penarth front there, which um, I haven't been to for some time, so I may visit, visit there catch up and see what's going on there but um, it's a bit of cold guys this is a nice place in the day but uh, I think it's past nine o'clock now but it's a nice place to come and just breathe some fresh air and you know and um, even better if you've got a pen on and a pair of shorts and go for a run so yes guys um, what's the name of the beach it's called Panath Panath Seafront in South Wales in the UK for him I'm not sure where you were based for him, if you're in the UK or not. Hi, Amy Shah. Thanks for joining. My missus, Virginia, is asking, when are we going to eat there? Yeah, it's very expensive in Penarth to eat, especially on the sea frontier, but um, I'm sure we can plan something, but eating is the last thing on my mind at the moment. Virginia, or Ginny, should I call you? <laughs> My missus, or we're not married yet, but um, she, she don't tend to come on to my um, my sort of live events. So I think it's the first one she's attended. She may just watch and see what goes on, but she never gets involved in the chat normally. She must be bored tonight or just fiddling through her Facebook to, to catch me live. I didn't tell her I was going live, so. Oh, hi, Claire Hartman. How are you doing, Claire? I haven't seen you for a while, I haven't spoken for a while. I'm not sure if you do, do any live events. Do you do any of these live Facebooks, Claire? I think I've seen one or two of you as. They tend to get a bit addictive once you've done one or two. But they, are, they can be important, guys. From an internet marketing point of view, people want to know who you are. They, they need to get to know, like, and trust you. And um, when you start doing a, a video recording, you tend to sort of, you know, worry about things. And you take, a two, you take one, take one, take two, sort of take three and start editing things around to get it perfect but with a live one like Facebook you know especially with me all the ifs and ahs and buts come out you know all the ums come out I don't really bother I just get on with it as you know I'm from South Wales most people can't understand a word I say anyway so it don't make any difference to me I just blabber along and um, just get to know people and see how many people turn up you know so um, no Claire I didn't see you one yesterday hilarious no I missed that one I'll take a look at that Hi, hey Jen, how are you doing? So, yes, guys, um, from, a, from an internet marketing, making money point of view, as I was just saying earlier, I'm involved in around four different revenue shares, traffic exchanges, which are really now earning well into six figures, doing really well. Just taking on two new ones recently, and I use these for traffic, guys, for building my list. Yes, the money is good to earn, earn money from it as well by clicking the ads and carrying up the tasks. But I normally, it's, it's mainly for driving traffic to and building my list that's the key guys building your list my list now is not massive compared to the most of gurus I think I'm around 20,000 people on my list so that's, that's quite good it's taken me a long time to get there it doesn't happen overnight it can take years and years to build uh, a presence and get people to know like and trust you so um, and I'd say 
Facebook, you either love it or you hate it. But it's definitely a great place to start, Facebook. And um, just start by doing some simple posts, you know, motivational posts, family posts, hobbies, what you're doing work. If you've got any pets, you know, just getting people to um, build that um, rapport with you and go from there, you know, it doesn't matter then. Uh, what, what business you're in to a certain degree, because once they get to know you and, and trust you, potentially they, they will join you in any business that, um, that you may be involved with, you know. So um, it's all about building that trust first, you know. So I'm not an expert on these videos, I've got to be honest, I don't think I'm any good at all, really. I don't know. I'm not a professional, I'm not an expert, I'm not a guru. So I'm not earning millions of dollars yet on the internet. I am in property, that's my main expertise. Want to make a million pounds in properties, guy? I can tell you the best places to go, the type of deals to look out for. I can certainly help you with that. But um, my challenge and goal is to make a million dollars on the internet. Okay, that's my challenge, and that's what I'm looking to do, and that's what I will achieve very soon. And then a uh, million dollars, then I'm not sure that is in pounds, but then probably a million pounds would be nice to um, clear that and uh, move on from there, you know. So guys, I'm actually shivering, you're holding this, holding this camera. Um, it's starting to get really cold, yeah? So, um, I'm not sure what the temperature is, but it is definitely cold. Yes, Claire, just keep being you, you're right there. I totally agree with that. Um, yes, Fahim, my Skype account, my Skype address is as in my name, Adrian Hibbert. So straightforward, my Skype is Adrian Hibbert. What else have I got? Talking to Adrian Hibbert. My Twitter address is Adrian Hibbert UK. Uh, just stick a UK on the end. Uh, I got a Pinterest address of Adrian Hibbert as well. So Pinterest.com, Adrian Hibbert. Um, my Instagram is Adrian Hibbert as well. So Instagram.com forward slash Adrian Hibbert. I use all those sites. Um, my LinkedIn address is Adrian Hibbert as well. So um, I got a lot going on, you know. And um, Google Plus as well. That's Adrian Hibbert. So. Um, I'm on a lot of channels, but Facebook is my main one, you know. And uh, I try and do a few blog posts as well. But I've got to be honest, guys, videos, the people who do videos will, will, be, will be the ones that make the most money, that's guaranteed, okay? I can more or less guarantee that. If you were doing a video and somebody in your team or even your upline or downline is not doing a video, you're going to make, I say potentially, you're going to make more money than them if you were doing videos. It's a comfort zone thing. And most people will never do a video. They're stuck in that comfort zone. And, uh, but if you can get out of that comfort zone, you start doing videos, you will start to attract followers, and your business will start to grow um, absolutely exponentially at some point, you know? Hi, Patrick. I haven't seen, seen you or heard from you for a while. Are you going? I can't pronounce the name of the guy just joined. Uh, ends in crafts. <laughs> Are you doing that? Yeah, my missus is Virginia. I'm doing videos. Yeah, I got my missus doing videos. Fair play. She's got. To, she's starting to get quite good and confident now. First couple, as we all know, the first couple of videos we always do are not very good, including myself. But um, I tend to put my missus on the spot. I pull the camera out. We either be on a Friday night after two glasses of wine. Oh, sorry, I don't want on a Friday night. We have a Saturday night. After two glasses of wine, when we go out for the night, I normally put her on the spot and say, let's do a video. Let's get, and I do the video and get her on the spot. And that's obviously for her business, and I help her with that side of things, you know? So um, I do all the sound effects for her and all the um, holding the camera. And I help my missus along there, you know? And she's starting to get into that now, which is good. Hi, Patrick. Totally agree. Videos are key to growing. Your business, as people buy people, absolutely agree, Lisa. Thanks for that. I'm just thinking about direct video. Did it? I'm just reading the text, you guys. Mate Trevor from Clenetley, another Welsh guy. Internet marketer just decided to ring me right, 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 right in the middle of a live uh, video. I've had a blank his call. Sorry, Trevor. I'll ring you after this. Arvinda, how did I get started in this business? That's a really good question, Arvinda. I went to Spain to live in two thousand when the property market crashed in two thousand and seven, two thousand and eight, and I made all my money in property. I had so much money back then, cash flow wise, I didn't know what to do with it. So I took two years off and went to Spain to live. Um, that was it, really. I went to Spain to live. In the first six months, I did nothing and just hanged around on the beach at the bars and drinking and enjoying myself and eating and 
getting involved with all the all the French cuisine, you know, the paella and the, um, the sangre, one of my favorite drinks and food. After six months of doing nothing in Spain, on the, uh, yes, I ended up uh, working for Atlas International, do, selling properties. So that got me into a work routine in Spain, which was great. And um, obviously all the spare time in Spain, sitting on my balcony, I started to get involved with the internet. I started to look for ways to make money online. Just typing in those famous words on Google, you know, make money online, make money fast. And uh, I got involved with a lot of things, and I lost, I lost a lot of money, I have to be honest with you, in the first couple of, um, from 2008 to 2010, lost some money, got involved with some schemes and scams. It was only since, um, it was only 2012, around about there, I got involved with um, one particular business, which was actually a penny auction business. Penny auctions was the product, they were quite fashionable then. And in fact, they're coming back now, penny auctions, they're um, very profitable. I got involved with the business then and um, ended up making a couple of hundred thousand in that business in a short space of time. I got lucky, I got in at the right time, built a team and um, I managed to make a couple of hundred thousand dollars. That was my first, so I wouldn't say luck, but I did, I did put a lot, lot of work in. Nobody knew me, but I managed to build a team. I had a lot of sign-ups and they went from there, really. Um, I got involved with another one, made me about $55,000, a smaller one. So that was an advertising uh, business. But um, that didn't last, sadly. So you've got to be very careful, guys. A lot of these things online, they come and go, you know. So you've got to be very careful what you get involved with. Check out the owners. You know, speak to the owners. Meet the owners. That's what I tend to do now. And um, just reading the chat. So, yeah, I tend to meet the owners. All the businesses, all the programs I'm in now, businesses I'm in now, I've actually met the owners. I've gone to the country to meet the owners. Or if I haven't met the owners, I've done a live hangout with the owners. But um, I'd say 9 out of 10, 90%, 90% of, the, of the businesses I'm in, I've met, actually met the owners face to face and gone up to dinner with them and sort of checked them out, you know. And, uh, and I feel confident, very confident in the businesses I'm, I'm promoting. I think it's a good idea to be in, have a number of streams of income, more than a good idea. Uh, sticking to one business is good, yeah, you can focus on one. But to me, you're putting all your eggs in one basket and um, you're playing high risk, putting all your money into one business, putting all your credibility on the line with one business as well. So I think it's worth putting involved in you know, two or three, four or five, and spread your risk. Why not? And um, it's definitely working for me. It might not work for some people. They may want to focus on one. I understand that. But for me, I always spread my risks. The same in the property game as well. As well, you know, I got money in cryptocurrency. I got money in gold. I got money in silver. Property, you know, land. I got my money spread all over the place, so it's working really well for me. Okay, guys, I'm absolutely shivering here, and um, it's getting starting to get cold. I can see more, more people joining. Hi, William. Hi, Hamed. I must, I must have missed something there, Hamed. Laugh out loud, pulling your leg. Oh. He can't stand where he wants. Okay. <laughs> That's fair enough. Um, it's sinking, so it is, the sand is actually sinking in, I got my shoes on, I haven't got my trainers on, I should have my trainers and tracksuit on, yeah really. Definitely invest in other areas, I agree with that Lisa. Somebody's asking about Likes XL, no I didn't join Likes XL. I was approached more than enough times by different people, but um, for some reason, um, I'm not going to mention why, but I, di I didn't want to take Likes XL on. Send me a private message on that one, and um, I'm not saying likes XL is is not good, but um, it wasn't for me at the time, and um, I'm already involved in similar things, but I think a lot better than likes XL, and I've uh, got more potential, so that was my reasoning for that. But um, we all got our reasonings for things, you know. What business do you recommend other than TM? Traffic Monsoon is, is a great business. It's done well for me uh, in the last 12 months, 18 months. I'm well into six figures in Traffic Monsoon. As you know, we're all looking forward to this PayPal release in um, 12th of August, I think it is. I've got another, uh, I got 3,000 ad packs pending in Traffic Monsoon. So that's around 150,000 potentially I can withdraw. So I'm, look, I'm, look, I'm looking, to look, looking to withdraw that 150,000, not all of it, but. I'm probably going to take that from 3,000 ad packs down to about 500, get some money out, and then start rebuilding it. That's my plan there. Bring it back up then to 1,000 plus ad packs. So I'm looking forward to um, traffic one soon. 
moving to the next level. I am still building Trapping Monsoon now. People are joining and withdrawing around three, four hundred dollars a day in Trapping Monsoon. So it's all good, guys. Trapping Monsoon, it's all good. Um, future Net, Future Lab Pro, which I took on four months ago, is I'm about thirty-one. Oh, sorry, thirty-six thousand withdrawn already. I'm hoping to hit hundred thousand in that before the end of the year. That's going really well. Um, my advertising page, guys, I'm starting to rebuild that. I got involved in that right at the beginning, um, but started to withdraw and um, got sidetracked. My property business kicked in. A uh, bit of, I'll say, a mistake, but I should have stuck with that, with that in the early days. But um, you may see me make a comeback in that very soon. But uh, at the moment, I've got other things which are paying more, and um, so it's one of those things, you know. But my advertising pays a great business. 10 ads pays, guys, is another one I just joined about four weeks ago. That's doing really well. I got 127 ad packs. That's paying really well, and there's a lot of things I like about that. UK based owners. I met the owners a month ago when it was invited to a private party in London. There's a lot of things that that, that, that traffic exchange has got that the others haven't got. So I recommend that. You can start with at least $2, $2 ad packs. Okay, that's, um, that's something interesting. And there's another one I just joined. Uh, it's a I'm not going to say the name right now. Message me privately. It's a cashback. It's UK based. That's what I like about it. It's UK based. It's regulated with the DSA in the UK. It's a cashback uh, a cash with uh, a traffic exchange rev share attached to it. That looks very, very interesting and that has mass potential. I'm going to be looking to build that as well. And um, I'm also involved with Power Lead System. Most people know that I'm building that. I'm earning a couple of grand a month already on Power Lead System, just building leads and, and um, building my, my platforms, you know, my landing pages. Um, I've also just taken on, guys, I am promoted this, is, uh, I've also just taken on a high ticket program, okay, where you can earn $1,000 commissions. I've only just taken that on literally in the last couple of days. That looks very, very interesting. There's, there's some big mega um, internet marketers that have come into that, some, some real top guys, which has added, added a lot of credibility to it. I've taken it on, okay, and um, I've invested $1,297 into that already. That's a one-time payment, and um, I think it's really worth that all day long. And, um, Potentially, I'm going to start to see a thousand dollar commissions come in as people join my team, guys. A thousand dollar commissions. I'm looking to build that one, and um, that's a great education platform from uh, mindset training, health and wellness. You know how to build a list, how to use Facebook, how to use Twitter to build a list and build a team. There's all kinds of weekly trainings going to be taking place for that. It's not a monthly; it's a one-time payment. So that's a great investment. So I'm really excited about go looking forward to building that one. You know, if you want to be, if you want me to put you into the Facebook group for that one, I can easily do that as a free member. Come on in and, let, and uh, see what it's all about. But um, I'm ready to help people start to earn a thousand dollar commissions with that one, and um, with one-on-one -on -one training from myself. Whether we do that on a screen show, whether you come down into Cardiff in South Wales to meet me. Let me try and catch up on the chat. Um, Patrick, the PayPal. That's, that's an old story. It's about six months old now. It's all to do with Traffic Monsoon, where PayPal have uh, froze the funds of Traffic Monsoon, but uh, that's all kicking, getting back to normal. In a couple of weeks' time. Uh, for him, he's going to sleep now. Okay, yeah, all the best for him. Good night to you, Matthew. Yeah, I'll definitely send you a, a link on the cashback traffic exchange. Really, <laughs> I think that's got massive potential. I love it. I love it, Matthew. It's UK based. The owners are UK based, and it's regulated with the DSA, and they take credit cards, direct credit card payments. So it doesn't come much safer than that from um, joining a business, you know? Very safe when you start to make payments um, direct on a credit card. It's giving you that 180-day that 180 day, um, that 180 day sort of chargeback rule, you know? So guys, am I going to make a move? In the next couple of minutes. I'm starting to freeze here, yeah. and uh, I quite like it here. Yeah. I might start to come down here in the days when the sun is out, and perhaps do some more videos down in the days, okay? Okay, I'm going to shoot off, guys. Ten, oh, it's nearly 10 p.m. I'm off to bed now. That's my girlfriend and partner. Still not married yet. 11 years this year. She still hasn't asked me to marry her, but never mind. I'll just keep waiting. Um, I'm going to try and catch the sauna now for the last half hour, shuts it down the top and I get half, a half hour blast. That'll be a bit of a relaxed piece of for me to end the day. Okay guys, so I'm going to shoot off and um, I'll catch up the, in the next video, okay?
his partner saying, yes, she has. Okay, I'm miss it. I, couldn't, I couldn't remember that. We'll have to do it again. Virginia, live, perhaps, possibly. And see where we go from there. See if I can make a decision whether to accept or not. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm off. And I'll um, just catch in some more questions on the end here. Yeah, what's all this Pokemon around? What's all this Pokemon around? Uh, Pokemon about? This massive Pokemon thing has happened in the last 24 hours. I missed that one. I think, I think it's an app, isn't it? Pokemon app. So I'll have to check that out and download that, see what all the fuss is about. So I missed all that. Okay, from Morocco. Oh, thanks a lot. I can't pronounce your name in Moroccan there, but yeah, thanks for attending. I love Morocco. I've been to Morocco twice. I've been to um, Asilla. A Silla Beach, um, A S I L A H. I caught a boat or a hovercraft from Tarifa in Spain over to Morocco a couple of years ago. No, more than 10 years ago actually. Uh, I nearly bought a place out there. I, bought a, I put a deposit down on the place out there, but um, they backfired. The builders went down the pan and I ended up there. So, um, but Morocco is a lovely place. But more than that, um, Tenerife is just off Morocco. That's where I just came back from a couple of weeks ago, seven, eight days ago. I love Tenerife. Hoping to get back out there shortly, all year round weather. Thinking of renting a place up there for like three or four months at a time. And just spending, you know, for a few months there rather than weeks. And then coming back and forth to the UK to catch up on my property business, you know. But um, I think I can do more work out in, Sp out in Tenerife than I can in the UK. Okay guys, so um, I'm going to be off and blabbering on now. Cheers Matthew. Okay guys, catch you in the next video. Good night and I'm heading for the sauna for the last half hour 45 minutes if I can get it. All the best.